Hey guys, welcome back to I Eat Pie. And today we have sushi. We have a bunch of rolls with a bunch of different things in it. We got oh, Future Grant just put the, <laughs> put the name in there. But yes, we are. I thought you made Eddie, I'll remember them, yeah. but you don't. <laughs> Well, she wrote hers down, but anyways. Um, yeah, well, we're going to pray and then we'll start eating. Heavenly Father, thank you for today. Thank you for this food. I just pray that you um, continue to heal our bodies and protect us on our road trip to Grand Forks. In Jesus' name we pray. Bless us with our body. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. She's got our favorite pair of chips there, too. Last day of the kids' school, so sushi party, <laughs> sushi party. A lady's at a friend's house having a sleepover for the first time since ever. Since summer. Yeah, because um, yeah, since she got back from her camp, she had which was fine. She didn't have to. She just had to. And now she's doing two back to back ones. Mm mm-hmm. Dijon kind of well my favorite but I don't know if you would classify them as your I don't know if I would but they're good. This one has mango and some salmon sashimi on it. That one is just shrimp and avocado and spicy sauce. Spicy mayonnaise. We are all finally better. Hmm. Pretty much. Seventy five percent. But it'll be good since the weekend's here and I can just rest. And then Gitto gets to go skating for the first time. My sister, she's a bigger skater. She wanted to, that was her birthday. Her well, she's birthday a coach. Her. She wanted to bring Gitto out to skate. Who knows if he'll even want to skate? Maybe by Sunday he'll be happy to go. <laughs> that would be great. He's been very mommy only since he's been since sick. He's been sick yeah. I mean, it is in general, but he still like do things with other people, and it's not like that big of a deal. But it's a big deal. Mmm. This was a really fishy one that you had. Mmm. And then I was like. I want to bring Shan to Singapore now, because I've been, when I was sick, I was just literally watching his food videos. Mm-hmm. So, Which is so funny, because you weren't like... Because I was not hungry eating. at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had no appetite, but it was like, oh, food looks good. I just can't eat anything. So... Can you eat like, what, one meal a day, maybe? Maybe two. On a good day. Yeah. I could eat two, maybe. But it wasn't like a, each meal was like, I can eat a lot. I get full like really quick. Did you eat the shit that I made you? Hmm? Okay. I finished one whole container by myself. <coughs> Cheers. She made a beet soup with um, ve uh, vegetables and meat. Turkey? Can I show you? Mm hmm. The beet soup reminded me of my mom's um, beet soup, so am I. Like it tasted the same or it was just because it no, was beets? No, it was just because it was beets. 
No, hers was more sweet. Yours is more savory. Yeah, because the beet soup she basically did was just like beets and um, like green onions. And then the beet, the sweetness of the beets would be like the soup. Oh. Whereas yours was like spices and a lot more vegetable. Well, no, she would put carrots, sorry. She would put mm -hmm. carrots and then she would I put... carrots, onion. Uh, um, I don't think my mom put celery yet in it. Oh, yeah, celery. Um, she did oxtail, which I liked. My mom first showed that because it had oxtail. Mm. You should make oxtail. I never made it before. I don't know how. No. I know you, you have, have to cook it. That makes you have it. to cook it for a while because it's um, it's not a, a meat that you can just, just put a, make it a steak and then it's done. You have to cook it up, cook it down. Oh, okay. What did we end up trying to cook down and then it didn't really work, but then it ended up working? Oh, the roast. Chan put, roast. <laughs> Chan put uh, roast in the Instapot on low cook for eight hours? Well, it wasn't low. So cook, so It cook. was normal. Oh, no, normal cook then. Yeah, <laughs> you just don't have it on high, they said. And after seven hours it was still tough it was still yeah it was not done it was not ready so it was super like not even the top layers would peel no. it was literally like oh so we then left we left it in there for eight hours looks exactly the same pressure cooked it for 45 minutes mm -hmm. and then it was fine and then it was good the next day mm -hmm. yeah so We like ate it all week. Yep. So that's the only thing I could really eat. Or I actually felt like eating. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I made barbecue sandwiches with it. I had just rice and soup with it. And I just ate it on the side by itself. But it was weird. When I was sick, everything tasted super sweet to me. Like my water tasted sweet. Um, it is weird. The bok choy that you made, made tasted super sweet, so that's why I didn't want to have any bok choy. It just tastes like I was eating candy. Even like the. That's so weird. Even when I did the the roast with, um, just by itself, it was like super sweet. I'm like, yeah, something was off with my taste buds. Because it, it wasn't a sweet roast, right? It was a savory. Yeah, it was super sweet to me. It was like eating with barbecue sauce, but there was no barbecue sauce on it. So. I have eaten all that I can eat from sushi-ness. I'm trying to get chippiness. But yeah. It was quite a week. Because the kids got all sick? Well, I had, I, I got sick the Friday night. I was sick Saturday all day, Sunday all day. I think you recovered the fastest out of all of us. Monday, by Monday I was up and about with kiddo. She recovered super fast. I had lots of people praying for me. They were like, that's mama. I don't know. I think Gail had it the worst. Mm-hmm. Well, infants and elderly yeah. usually will get it the worst. <clears throat> Bad said sushi. Not last night, the night before. And then I guess he felt like it again. Oh, well, I'm sure the kids enjoy it. You're green on green, but two different shades of green. I've only had my green jacket to wear because my black one was super thick and I only to get into my car and try to zip, put the seatbelt on. 
So I'm always going, and I'm also only wearing my green sweatpants because those are my only sweatpants that are warm. So I literally show up to work just dressed in full green. <coughs> if we put lights around you, it looks like Christmas tree. Basically. Why hasn't anybody done that yet? Because this last week at school, the kids all had theme days. I was a Christmas sweater. What else do I have? Did they actually wear, day. wear Christmas sweaters that were Christmassy? I don't know. Yeah, Aaliyah did. Uh, I don't know. What she wore? That's Christmas. She wore the, um, I bought some, like, just Christmassy necklaces or whatever. Oh. So she wore, like, one of those. <sighs> so it wasn't actually a Christmas sweater, though. Oh, I don't know. Maybe not. Mm, and then today was supposed to be like red and green they were supposed to wear, so I think. Sam wore green pants and Annie wore a red shirt. When did Leah wear? I don't know. I she had the Christmas seat. <coughs> this was her. She was wearing jeans and. Oh, maybe white. You could also wear white. Oh. Oh, because you're snow. <coughs> Last bite. But before I finish this bite, make sure to go into our comments right now. We're gonna, our next video we're gonna do gonna be a rematch of our no hash challenge. So but how rematch? Well, you're instead of me being your hands, you're my hands, and instead of Lily being, or Addie being Lily's hands, she's gonna Lily's gonna be Addie's hands. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. How is that a rematch? Because we're still, we're on the team. We're we're a team. Oh, okay, and okay, we're okay, okay. Beat okay, them okay. up again because uh, we're the best. Are we like? Barely one last time. It's because you were eating. I know. And now I'm I not very eat. fast. I know, but <sighs> this is the problem. I <clears throat> I am a slower eater, and you're super fast. Aaliyah is a super fast eater, and so it was like actually a competition. I feel like with you and Addie, oh, true. there's Addie's not really going to be much of a competition. They'll be funny on their side. They'll provide the entertainment. We'll provide the winning. <laughs> yeah, it'll be good. But yeah, let us know in the comments what you want us to eat. You, okay. What things you want us to eat. Right now, I already have, uh, like, the person has to make a PB and J sandwich, and then. Which eat. Adiel doesn't like peanut butter, so that should be funny. <coughs> well, Lily doesn't like jam, so they're lost, lost for them. <laughs> then, China had an idea of um, <coughs> chips and dip, so you have to dip, chip, dip, chip. I don't know how many. How we're gonna do that one? Or how many chips we're gonna do, but <sighs> anyways, thanks guys so much for joining us. It's good to be back. We haven't posted anything in our vlog channel for a while because we were dead. Um, but hopefully we will be posting on that soon. If not, we'll probably start posting again in the new year. <laughs> Amy Boo W says cannot watch, cannot not watch when Guido is there. I know, right? He's great to go. He's um, getting a little two deal now. <clears throat> He's getting a little sassy. Mm -hmm. If it's not his way, it's no way. D Pang says, hello pie eating family. Need to see a pie making or eating challenge contest. Also happy holidays and almost happy new year. Oh, that will be a good, who likes making, or Lily usually is the one that is baking and Shan's usually baking, but Lily doesn't like pie. But maybe she'll make coconut cream pie. You don't think she likes pie? She doesn't like the filling of pie. Basically, yeah. Well, yeah. Anyways. Thank you guys Thanks. so much for joining us. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye.